All right. Welcome back to another album rankings review. I'm Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, The Lonesome Crown, all published by Simon and Schuster Saga Press. You can see a couple of the books sitting over there. Today, I'm going to give you a dose of some bad medicine, man. We're going to be reviewing every single Bon Jovi album. I've got 18 Bon Jovi studio albums over here that I'm going to rank in order of my least favorite to my favorites. And I'm going to have to be honest with you folks. This is a rare ranking video because I pretty much like every single one of these albums. Dude, dude, our dude Jovi has produced, Mr. Jovi has produced a lot of albums over his 30 or 40 year career. We're going to get to them. Let's go with number 18. This was called Destination Anywhere. It's one of his solo projects. Pretty decent, pretty decent. It tells a story of a guy living in... I mean, every song sort of tells a story of a guy living in New Jersey or New York or something. He's got marital troubles, whatever. It's sort of like a... Uh, it's just like a storytelling album. It's it's one he did himself. Not no song very memorable, rememberable on it. But that we'll we'll give that our number eighteenth ranking. <clears throat> bon Jovi, the left feels right. This is um, my seventeenth ranked Bon Jovi album. This is all the all. This is all cover. He redid all of his famous hits. As acoustic versions, alternate versions, that's what this is. Let me, let me read off the hits that he redid in case you want to get this and hear different, crazily, wildly different versions of all of his hits. And I think some of them are really good redos. Some of them are kind of strange redos. But all of them are interesting. And let me read the, the songs that he redid. A lot of them are acoustic. A lot of them... A lot of the ballads he made into heavy, heavier songs. A lot of the heavier songs he made into ballads. Now, let me, let me read off the list just so you know what you're getting into. Wanted, Dead or Alive, Living on a Prayer, Bad Medicine, It's My Life, Lay Your Hands on Me, You Give Love a Bad Name, Bed of Roses, Every Day, Born to Be My Baby, Keep My Faith, Keep, I think it's Keep the Faith. I'll Be There for You and Always. So if you want to hear... Crazily different versions of those songs. Go out and get the left feels right. It's my 17th ranked Bon Jovi album. Shit, I think I might have just broke that one. Maybe I won't toss. I think I broke both of them. My number 16th ranked Bon Jovi album is his first album, just simply titled Bon Jovi. I'm going to move a little closer to the camera so we can see these things. Um, Bon Jovi, just titled Bon Jovi, came out in 1984. His first album. Um, I mean, it's got, it's got a, you can tell, the reason this one ranks so, so low on my thing is you can tell that it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a young rock and roll band's first hard rock album. It's got some great catchy tunes. It's got the, you can, you can see the potential in, in these guys. In this album, you can see the potential. Because there are the catchy riffs, catchy tunes, Hard hitting, great writing, great singing. Um, you know the hit "Runaway." She don't know me. Th that was the first song. She don't know me. That was the first song I that ever introduced me to Bon Jovi. I saw it on MTV before Bon Jovi was real famous. They were playing that video. She don't know me every once in a while. That probably is a really goofy looking video of John Bon Jovi, by the way. But anyway, you know this remastered version really pumps up the sound on this because it was the original version you know it was it sounded a little tinny and a little amateurish but they remastered it and remixed it and man it sounds just it competes with all their other albums now just in sound quality and it really is good some other of the notable songs on here are roulette shot through um shot uh, shot through the heart there's some good i'm gonna still toss these on the floor i'm gonna be a little more gentle though my number 15th ranked Bon Jovi album is his, actually, we go from his first album back in 1983 to his latest album. This is simply called 2020. 
This is Bon Jovi's version, musical version of 2020. So as you can imagine, 2020 kind of sucked for everybody. And Bon Jovi sort of put it into words, so it's kind of like a story of 2020. And it's just, um, I don't think it's as great as some of his later stuff. And I really do love his later stuff. Um, Blood in the Water is pretty good. Uh, Unbroken, Unbroken is actually a really good song. Um, it's a soldier, a tribute to our soldiers, Unbroken. Very good song, very good song. Uh, it's a, a soft rock Springsteen-esque album. Number 15, his latest one. What do we have at number 14? We've got uh, 7800 Fahrenheit. It's his second album put out in 1985. In and Out of Love. That's a great song. Silent Night, Into the Fire. It's got a groovy sort of um, anthem so to song to it. Uh, no, not Into the Fire, but To the Fire. It's a good album. It's a good second album effort. And again, the remastered version just pumps up the sound, makes this thing compete with the other great albums. Because when it was originally produced, it was just a little weak. The remastered version really puts it out there. Our number 13th Bon Jovi album ranked What About Now? This is came out in 2013. This is his 12th album overall. This is good. Okay, so here we go, folks. From from now from 13 from 13 to about number 5. Gosh, I love all of them about equally. So it was really hard for me to kind of rank them because I just like them all. Now the top 5 are the top 5. They are heads and tails above everything. But these other ones, 13 through 5, Oh, man, there's still, every single one of them is a solid, solid album. And every single song is a solid, solid song. I mean, Bon Jovi, from the years of about 1995 up until um, now, has done some great, great rock albums that, you know, I wish more people listened to. Um, this is just full. This has got um, 12 great songs. Uh, because We Can, that's a rockin' anthem. Uh what about now? Pictures of you, amen. That's what the water was made for. Army of one, top notch, uh, beautiful. Every song is catchy, man. Every song is catchy. What is my, um, Mr. Jovi? Mr. Jovi! Uh, The Circle, number 12. Uh, 2009, it came out. It's his 11th album. We Weren't Born to Follow. When We Were Beautiful, oh, one of my favorite songs. When We Were Beautiful. I feel that way. I, I mean, you know, when I was younger, I was, a, I was a beautiful man. Now I'm like this fat, middle-aged, um, just, uh, you know, I know what it was like. I mean, Bon Jovi, he's a good-looking dude, you know. I, I mean, I usually can't tell if one guy is better looking than the other guy. But what I remember, I mean, when Bon Jovi, I mean, you know, you know you're looking at a good looking dude, you know. And so he's probably thinking, he's getting older now, and he's probably like, you know, well, I used to be beautiful. I used to be like Durfee. I used to be beautiful, and now I ain't. And so, you know, that song, When We Were Beautiful, was written. Uh, Superman Tonight. Live Before You Die, Fast Cars. These are all just such great tunes. Like I said, every one of these albums I'm going to be mentioning from now on, I love. I listen to them a lot. I mean, I listen to these a lot. I listen to Bon Jovi almost more than I listen to uh, anybody else. My number 11 is Bounce, 2002. His eighth studio album, Bounce, 2002. Uh, Undivided is, is the opening song. is a great rocker. Every Day, that's a good one. Joey, good. Oh, every song on this is so damn good. Go the Distance, oh my gosh, that's so, that's so catchy. All About Loving You is a nice ballad. Hook Me Up, that's a dark and moody song. Hook Me Up. Right Side of Wrong is, uh, you know, Love Me Back to Life. Now, there is a, there was one goofy song. There is one Bon Jovi song that I actually hate, and it happens to be on this album, and it's called You Had Me at Hello. You had me at hello. You you wrote a song called You Had Me at Hello, uh, entitled it uh, after one of the most famous movie lines of all time, and you and you are expecting us to believe that that's Bon Jovi original material. You had me at hello. It's from Jerry Maguire, Mr. Jovi. 
Number 10th favorite Bon Jovi album, Have a Nice Day. This is, came out in 2005. It's his ninth album, and I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know why, but this is my favorite cover of a Bon Jovi album. I love this design. I love the simple Have a Nice Day and a, just a simple little icon there on the cover. I like it. I, this is This is dope. To me, this is dope. You know, I like graphic design and I like illustration and the graphic designers that came up with this. They did a good job. Whatever design firm, that's pretty hot. It's just simple. Um, have a nice day. Welcome to wherever you are. Um, who says you can't go home? That was a big hit with Sugarland. Uh, Bells of Freedom, that's a great song. Uh, last Cigarette, last, uh, that's a catchy tune. Story of My Life is a good song. That's I, I like that album. Bon Jovi Crush, my number nine. Number nine, Bon Jovi Crush, came out in 2000. This is the first time I ever saw Bon Jovi on tour, was the Crush tour. It was great. 2000, the year 2000. I loved the Crush tour. It's my life, it's now or never. I ain't gonna live forever. That was a huge hit. Thank you for loving me. Next 100 years, just older. That's another one. That's another great song. Just like uh, When We Were Beautiful, just older. Hey, we're all just older. You know, both me and Bon Jovi, we were once upon a time very beautiful men. You can go back to my high school yearbook and it is, you will see photos of me and you'll be like, he's the most beautiful person in that high school. Durfee is more beautiful even than the women in that high school. He could have I mean, he's just, and, and Bon Jovi's the same way. But we're just older now. We're just older. We, we've realized, we, we, you know, we've realized we've we hit our peak. We've hit our peak. Both me and Mr. Jovi. We've hit our peak. Save the world. Um, one wild night. This is a, we've got a great, great, great stuff, man. Lost Highway. Number eight, Lost Highway. This is another cover I really like. Uh, 2007, his, uh, number 10th album, uh, Lost Highway, very melodic, this is a very melodic album, I listen to this quite a bit. You wanna make a memory? I love that video. Although in that video, I will say, Bon Jovi's looking kinda old, and, and in the video he's, uh, he's married to a person that looks like could be his daughter. When we were beautiful, but Mr. Jovi, we're older now. Just older. We're just older now. I mean, I know, I know you want beautiful girls in your videos, but you know, you look like that that girl's dad. Just saying, just saying. Uh, whole lot of leaving. There's a whole lot of leaving. Yeah, uh, you got it. Go, you got it going on. That's a uh, with Big and Rich. That's a great rock song. Uh, Seat Next to You is a nice ballad. Everybody's Broken. Oh, yeah. Just love that stuff. Oh, one of my favorite Bon Jovi albums. But this one is my least favorite cover. In fact, um, the album came. It's, I mean, I had to go get a... Uh, I had to go get a plastic uh, case... For the album, because it's one of those albums that they just sold in a little slip sleeve, and I was like, damn it. So I had to go b get this thing from the library. <laughs> what an ugly album cover, though. It's called uh, Burning Bridges. Worst cover. We, I showed you my favorite cover. This is by far the worst. And then it, not only that, but it didn't even come in the plastic. I had to get this plastic thing from, uh, you know, a used one room just to put the CD in it. However, this is a damn good album. This is my seventh ranked album, Burning Bridges. Oh my gosh, I listen to this one a lot. It's got one of my favorite Bon Jovi songs on it. You know, um, this is also the last album they did with Richie Sambora. It's also the last Mercury Records album. Bon Jovi was with Mercury Records for something like 17 albums straight. And then this was the last one. Um, we Don't Run, that's a good rocker. Blind Love, that's a nice ballad. Now, number track number seven, Fingerprints. It's one of my favorite Bon Jovi songs of all time. I love Fingerprints. Just YouTube Fingerprints, listen to it. I mean, it is six minutes of epic, soulful, um, epic, soulful, and some of the best instrumentals that I've ever heard. 
I love Fingerprints. It's one of my favorite, top five favorite Bon, bon Jovi songs. And then Life is Beautiful, that's a good song. We'll toss that one over there. Okay, we're to number six. And that is uh, This House is Not for Sale. One of the reasons this one finished so high on my list is because it has 17 tracks. And every, all 17 are freaking gold. Just, they are quintessential Bon Jovi magic. This one came out in 2015. It is his 14th studio album. My sixth rank. Um, also, it's the first one they did without Richie Sambora, which, I mean, I, I miss Richie, but this is a damn good album without the guy. Um, Houses, This House is Not For Sale is a good opening track. Number Track number three, Knockout, is a catchy rocker. Labor of Love, very Springsteen-esque. I love that. Roller Coaster is a good movie. Reunion is a sensational ballad um, with a sensational message. Come on, come on over to our house. It's another sensational message. Uh, we Don't Run. I mean, this is an absolutely inspirational album. That's one of the reasons I love Bon Jovi is his music is always positive. It always remains on the positive side. That's why I like it. It ain't grunge. It ain't, it ain't, and okay, now that we've mentioned it, let's, we always, on this channel, when I'm doing my classic rock reviews, we always say a prayer to the rock gods for the death of rock and roll that grunge brought along that Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, all those crappy bands. They gave all this crappy music to us and killed rock and roll dead. We always say a prayer for rock and roll because of that in all these videos. And um, because those b bands like that, those grunge bands, they were depressing. I don't want to kill myself after listening to the music. You know what? Bon Jovi is inspirational. Bon Jovi is great inspirational rock. My number fifth. We're just top five. Now these top, these five are above everything. The ones I just mentioned, I love all of Bon Jovi's stuff. The ones I just mentioned were great. These top five, though, are something special. These days. 1995, his sixth studio album. Hey God, what the hell is going? You know, I mean, something for the pain. This ain't a love song these days. The stars ain't out. You know, I mean, uh, what else have we got? Lot don't lie to me. Um, it's hard letting you go. My heart's breaking even. Something to believe in. If that's what it takes, diamond ring, wear it on your hand. I love this album these days. There's how many songs on this? 12, every one of them. Dynamite. Dynamite, I love these days. Okay, another Bon Jovi solo album, The Young Guns soundtrack is actually in my top five. This is my number fourth favorite album. I listened to this thing. When this came out, I think it was the, I think for about three years it was the album I most listened to because I loved the mixture of Cowboy, the Old West, because I, I grew up in the Old West. Well, no, I mean, I didn't grow up in the 1800s. I grew up in the West, the Southwest, where Bon Jovi filmed a lot of the videos for the, 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 the like the Blaze of Glory video, filmed right near where I live. Um, number one song, Blaze of Glory, it's one of Bon Jovi's number one songs. Uh, Billy, get your guns, gonna take a miracle to save us this time. Blaze of glory, of course, blood and money, back to Santa Fe, justice in the barrel. You know, dying ain't much of a living when you're living on the run. Dying ain't much of a living for the young. Bang a drum for the sinner. Bang a drum for the sin, bang a drum for the losers and those who win. Bang a drum, bang it loudly, or as soft as you can. Bang a drum. Yeah, I forget. But that was pretty good, though, off the top of my head. Keep the Faith, my number three Bon Jovi album. Keep the Faith. Oh, I believe, I believe. Keep the Faith. I sleep when I'm dead. In these arms, bed of roses. Yeah. 
This hotel bar hangover, whiskey's gone dry. Bar takers, they're telling me a lie. I can't remember those. Um, dry count, if I was your mother. That was a hard walking song. Fear, I want you. Blame it on the lower rung, a little bit of soul. Hey, keep the faith, man. Keep the faith. Oh, Bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet. That's my number two favorite Bon Jovi album. Slippery When Wet. I don't even think I need to discuss anything about it. Let it rock. Let it roll. This is one of the top 100 selling albums of all time. I don't know where it fits in the top 100. Um, but You Give Love a Bad Name was a number one hit. Living on a Prayer was a number one hit. Want a Dead or Alive was a top five hit. Um... What else was on this thing? Came out in 1986 when I was a kid. Slippery When Wet. It's his third album overall. Uh, let it rock. You give love a bad name. Wow. Living on a prayer. Wanted dead or alive. One of the things, one of the reasons I love Bill Maher so much is Bill Maher, if you remember that old show, uh, uh, Politically incorrect that Bill Maher used to do. He had the he used to have a, like a panel of discussion, people on a discussion with a panel of people, and one of the people he was was on his panel was the lead singer of this band called Crash Test Dummies. And Crash Test Dummies, they sucked, man, uh, worst band ever. And uh, but clearly the the lead singer was a pretentious douche because right in the middle of the discussion, they weren't even discussing music or rock and roll or anything. Right in the middle of the discussion of some po political point, the band, uh, the lead singer of Crash Test Dummy goes. Well, all I know is Bon Jovi says he's seen a million faces and rocked them all. Well, he hasn't rocked mine. He hasn't rocked my face. And Bill Maher looked at him like, where did that come from? And then, and then Bill Maher said one of the greatest things he ever said. He said, listen, I don't care what you think. Bon Jovi's going to be remembered in a hundred years, and you, my friend, will not be. And <laughs> shut that motherfucker up like a motherfucker. I was a Bill Maher fan ever after that. Thanks for sticking up for uh, Bon Jovi, Vilmar. And if you want to see how sucky and shitty Crash Test Dummies are, just YouTube these bastards. And tell me, I mean, my God. I'll die for you. Raise your hands. Never say goodbye. Never say goodbye. My number one Bon Jovi album of all time. New... Jersey. Oh my gosh, this every song on this album. It's, it's just fly. It's just hot. It's just dope. It's ringing. 1988, I think, is when this came out. It's his fourth album of all time. Five top five hits off this album. The only hard rock band. To put an album, out an album that had tie, five top fives. I mean, Def Leppard had a lot of hits off of Hysteria, but they weren't in the top five. Um, lay your hands on me. Lay your hands on me. Lay your hands on me. Bad medicine. Bad medicine is what I born to be. Living in sin. Blood on blood. Oh my gosh. Blood on blood. Oh, what a great song. Homebound Train. Woo, woo. Oh, jeez. Wild is the ride. Ride, cowboy. Ride, cowboy, ride. Stick to your guns. Ain't nobody gonna hurt you, baby. You can go to heaven even if you want to. I don't know if those are the lyrics to that at all. Um, I'll be there for you. These five words, I swear to you. Bon Jovi, man. The only thing I know about New Jersey... I've learned from The Sopranos, Bruce Springsteen, and John Bon Jovi. I even lived in Manhattan for a time. I never even got across the bridge to the, to the Jersey side. I mean, I never even did. I mean, you know, it's Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi, folks, that is it. I probably shouldn't have thrown all the CDs back here. Let me pick one up to end with the Bon Jovi logo in your face.